Well, welcome to another RDWorks Learning Lab. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you all. Um, it could well be a little while before I get my machine back in action again. Um, I've had a little bit of a disaster in that in trying to be helpful to somebody I thought I would try and copy off the factory default file. I went into the ZU menu and down here it says set factory parameters sorry set factory parameters and default factory parameters so we go down to the factory default parameters and press the enter button and it says ah oh, we need a password well i know what the password is the password to get into there is hf888 so we have to go down to this rather strange menu thing at the bottom here and we have to select underline the H and the F and then we have to go up eight 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 and as soon as you press the last eight it says recover success ah you get no chance to do anything, no chance to stop, no chance to think, no chance to say, no, I don't want to do that. It's recovered it for you. Fine. The machine has been set up. That's just a standard factory recovery. And we will reset the machine. It will go into recovery mode. So I managed to shake all these things loose. So my mirrors will be all upset now. Let's just screw them right down so that they don't shake them. I'm now a little bit screwed because when I press my um, left and right arrow buttons, goodness me, it's going off like a rocket. I've got that set to 115 millimeters a second. That's not 115 millimeters a second. That's more like I don't know, five or 600. That's a, that's a 500 millimeter traverse across there. So let's just have a quick check. Yeah, that's easily 500 millimeters a second, so it's running at max speed. I mean, if I try and move this axis, I think we're losing steps. So, my immediate reaction is to let's have a look in here and see what's happening. We've found the password and we've got into here. Now look, rather than read this, what I will do is just sort of interpret it, because basically what it says here is, once the manufacturer has set the machine with all the parameters, uh, with all the vendor and user parameters, um, he can store it with this function and protect it with a password key. Right? It's a different password key to when you want to recover it. But if you want to recover it, then you go to the next section. <sighs> After you select the parameter and enter the key, the successful recovery box will pop up to prompt that all manufacturer parameters and user parameters are recovered successfully. You can return to the previous menu by pressing the enter key. Yeah, I've been through all of that. And that's how I got where I was. In trouble. So it clearly says here that when I press this button it should restore the machine to exactly the same as it was before I touched anything because I haven't changed anything so one has to assume that those lovely Chinese people never bothered to go through the previous step of recording the parameters but all is not lost because a year ago when I got the machine I actually took the simple precaution of storing both the user and the vendor parameters as a file which is basically what they're saying here they would be restoring so if they didn't do it I can because I've got all the parameters for my machine loaded them in don't work for some reason or other those parameters do not want to go back into the machine and set my machine up as it was
it's quite important that you understand how this um, loading of programs works because it is a very strange system that these guys have used. Now we need to go to the user file to start with. Now your first reaction when you see the screen would be to say well I've got read and I've got open. Why don't I open the file and see what happens? Yeah okay oh so it's this one. Right, I've got to open that file. No that's the wrong start. We need to read the file to start with. Okay, now what that's done, that's read that file that's in there already, and it's also given you options across the bottom here. Now you've got these extra options across the bottom, you can go and you can open your user file. And it says it's imported it successfully. And at this point, we can write it. And now what we've done, we've actually written the imported file back. It's a very strange and complicated procedure. Let's do the same thing for the vendor settings file. So we go to file, vendor settings, and we use the password to get in, which is um, rd8888. And here we are. Now we've got exactly the same situation. Right, so by pressing the read we've now got all these other options here. Now we will open my file. We'll just take a look here at the step length 22.5. Open. It says input success. And sure enough it's changed it to a different value. Which I can now write. and we should be able to exit because save is saving an external file we don't want to do that because we've already got that file saved so let's do exit and let's turn on the machine and see what happens miracle. Looks as though we may have restored the original settings. Just like that. Okay now I've just loaded a program that I know very well and we'll just see how that runs. Well I do believe I've got my machine back. Very good. Phew. Disaster averted. Now this is not something that I would have chosen to have done, but having been forced into this corner, um, hopefully I've been able to demonstrate to myself and to you that it isn't a big issue to recover your machine if you have the appropriate files. What happens if you didn't have the appropriate files? Well, I think that's going to have to be the subject of another complete video in the near future. Well, now we're at the end of our disaster recovery session. Um, the final thing that really we should do, now that we've restored the machine to its good condition, um, technically we should go and set the factory parameters with the code C and four eighths. I'm not planning to do that at the moment because I want the rubbish settings that are in the machine to stay there because I need to use those rubbish settings as a start point to maybe show you guys how to recover a badly set machine. But that's something for a future video. Well, almost as a final thing, um, I'm just going to cover how you would save those two vital files for those that are new to the Chinese laser cutting world. You will go up here to your 
standard page and across the top there are some tabs. Bring down the user tab and you'll see that there are two sections on here. Now at the moment as we discussed during this program when you first bring open this tab it's only got two options available to you read and open. So the first thing you need to do is press the read button and what that will do that will read this file out into some temporary memory and it will say 100% there and at the same time as you press that read button it will make write and save become live buttons. Once you've read it all you've got to do is save it so save it to a file of your own naming whatever you want um, but just make sure it's sensible so you can find it again in the future. Now when it comes to the vendor setting file you need to go up here to the vendor parameters and it says vendor setting so open that there is a password that you can put in there which is rd and four eights one two three four okay we're not connected to the laser machine so it will say no connected device but when you've connected up to your laser machine via the usb cable you will be able to read the file that's in the machine and it will then show up on this bar here that you've read it then you can press the save button and save it out to a file of your naming again so just make sure you save it somewhere safe and somewhere obvious that you can get to it in the future.